If you want cheap PC games, Xbox Live codes, and a whole bunch more, then check out G2A. A link is in the description below. Yo guys, what's up with Tech Series? Welcome back to another video. So today I actually wanted to talk to you guys about the absolute insane amount of hate that The Last of Us Part 2 is getting right now. And it's actually kind of crazy how many people are upset, and, and rightfully so. I think that uh, this game has taken a lot of missteps. Um, and, you know, just what I want to show you guys is actually just community reaction, because there's a lot going on with how people feel about this. It's not just one thing, it's multiple things that people are upset at. And if you guys don't want to be spoiled or anything, then click off the video, because we're going to be talking about some spoilers and stuff like that. So let's talk about this. If you guys enjoyed the video, drop a like, super appreciate it. If you are new, make sure you do subscribe and have notifications set to all notifications. And then if you guys want to support the channel directly, then check out my sponsors, Control Freak and Scuff. I use them every day. Code OGX for get to a discount. Or you can check out G2A for some cheap PC games, Xbox Live codes, and more. Link down below to that as well. Now, this is the interesting thing. So you guys can see it's been trending on Twitter throughout most of the day and you know this is it, it's been bad so you guys can see we have all of the top tweets here and there's just a lot of very upset people we have spawn wave who tweeted out things are going well i see over in the last of us 2 user score section on metacritic and as you guys can see from the image itself uh not that great not that great right there I mean, look at that a freaking 3.3 <laughs> And they actually tried to delete some of the user scores and they actually lowered the score by deleting people's rating. So you guys can see the uh, industry is saying that The Last of Us Part 2 is a 95. Metacritic are saying it is a must play, but it's it's really not. It's really not, guys. I mean, 3.3 and there's a lot of reasons why they killed off Joel. Like, Joel, like, how do you kill him? two hours not even maybe it depends on how fast you play but like within the first section of the game like a lot of people are also upset at the like amount of fake promotion that this got like they got lied to by the advertisements and people were they were trying to make it seem because of all the leaks that did come out for the last of us 2 you know they were finding out about joel dying and everything they're trying to play it off like no he's still alive dude these leaks are fake dude and they're putting a whole bunch of ads that made it seem like he wasn't gonna die like he was gonna be throughout there most of the game and then fast forward game comes out all those sections that were supposed to be him was a completely different character so they misled people and I, I mean i don't know if you can get too mad at them when they're trying to make sure people aren't paying attention to the leaks and it's ruining you know obviously the the big portion or a big portion of the actual story for this game and so they don't want people to know about that unless they are in game playing and kind of getting the whole backdrop and the story and all that stuff but still how are you gonna do him like that dude like within the first two hours just gone and then the rest of the game is just like a switcheroo metal gear solid 2 situation where you think you're playing one thing and then after the first hour or two you're like what the hell is going on here like you're playing as Raiden instead of solid snake or you're playing as abby instead of Ellie, like what? What? Why? Why is this a thing? Why was this the natural path that they took? Like, I get that they're trying to go with, you know, eye for an eye, and you know, if someone doesn't stop the chains of revenge, is this gonna? But still, like, what? How are you gonna kill up? Like, nah. And like the way he died it was just like so anticlimactic. He went out with a whimper. A lot of people loved. Like my brother loves The Last of Us, and I actually talked to him today. And I took because he doesn't have a PS4. He hasn't had any of the new consoles. Uh, but, you know, The Last of Us was a game he very much enjoyed. He beat the game multiple times on every difficulty that he could. He enjoyed that game. He always constantly talked about The Last of Us to me years ago. You know, then we had a seven year gap. I told him, hey, are you excited for The Last of Us 2? He was excited. He was asking me, uh, you know, if he should get it. He was thinking about maybe getting a PS4 to get this. And I was like, yo, save your money, dude. Like, Okay, whatever. Let's just keep going, all right? Because I'm starting to get a little heated right now, too. All the 100 people Ellie killed in The Last of Us Part 2 trying to get to Abby just to decide killing is bad and go home. And it's like, if you guys haven't seen the ending, like, that's that's also a lot of... Okay, there's, like, a lot of people things that people are angry about. Obviously, Joel dying so early in the game and then the way he died, horrible. The actual storytelling was... I don't know, man. It's just, like, it was, it was all over the place. It was messy. It was messy. And then you're playing as someone who 
you hate because they killed the main character that you love and you're kind of like forced to be in this situation to play as this it makes you hate playing the game and so like right when you're gonna have this finally this moment of yes we're gonna kill this this character that killed joel who was directly involved in that and then it just at the end ellie's like nah you're good break the chain break the cycle whatever it's like nah dude like don't don't give me that crap and then like 2020 we got pandemics going on and they're doing this we got danica who says play doom eternal instead ign gave it a 10 out of 10 a masterpiece i'm actually curious to see the replies to this thank you for being honest in japan oh this is what they said in japan each of the new characters has become a hindrance to storytelling and the storyline a base storyline created by making ellie the hero is far from the success of the previous work so Again, no one is denying that The Last of Us 2 looks visually stunning. I've been seeing mixed like people like reviews on the actual mechanics of the game. Some people are saying that it's like slightly better than The Last of Us, which was already a really outdated game. So like the mechanics are not really blow you away. They're just better. They're easier to deal with. And then they got rid of a lot of puzzle solving stuff that they used to do. Now it's like less of that. But like that's. The biggest thing, the thing that people cared most about, which separate from the multiplayer, apparently there was a huge community for multiplayer. People really loved multiplayer on The Last of Us. But apart from that, the, the story was the main thing and they butchered it. They threw it in the meat grinder and said, here's Metal Gear Solid 2. I will say that there is a mixed reaction to this. Some people actually really enjoy the game, but I think that there's the majority of people, including myself, are not that happy. Okay, not that happy. But let me know what you guys thought of The Last of Us 2. Have you guys played it yet? Have you not? Uh, if you have played it, what do you think? Are you enjoying it or are you not? I feel like everyone's going to have a different experience going into it. Some people might be done with the game after the first two hours, after the first big plot twist or the first big plot point, And they might not care after that. I just... It was like a bait and switch for me, in my opinion. So, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. Hopefully you guys found the video informative, helpful, entertaining. And I just wanted to talk about this because it's kind of trending and everyone's talking about it. And it it sucks. It sucks that this is the situation that we're in. Seven years waiting. And they gave us this. Take care guys. I'm out. Peace.